for generations of Mizzou fans. Norm Stewart is Missouri basketball. As a player, Stewart was a two-time all-conference first team selection, a 1956 All-American, and finished his career as the second most prolific scorer in program history. But he also was a pitcher on Mizzou's 1954 National Championship baseball team. In 1967, Norm returned to his alma mater to oversee the most successful era in Mizzou basketball history. In his 32 seasons as head coach, Norm Stewart won 634 games, eight conference championships, and took his team to the NCAA tournament 16 times. Norm was somebody that was bigger than just basketball. He had a great uh, impact, somebody that uh, I know uh, most coaches look up to. Well, we had some great games. We had some really tough battles. He was a great coach. When you look back upon the plays they had, the way he coached, nothing could really stop this guy. Well, cancer almost did. In February of 1989, Norm Stewart was diagnosed with cancer and missed the remainder of the 88-89 season. Norm fought cancer with the same tenacity he attacked his opponents and won, returning to the sideline with a clean bill of health the next season. It was that battle that inspired arguably his greatest impact, Coaches versus Cancer. Initially a local fundraiser known as the Three Point Attack, it has grown into a national movement and raised more than $100 million to aid cancer research. Think that that this, uh, this group has raised $100 million plus through Coaches Versus Cancer is a pretty remarkable feat. I had the wonderful experience of being in over 700 wins. I would trade those wins if we could win this one. You know, if we could finish this fight and have no cancer. Coach, greetings from Pittsburgh, Kansas, home of the Pitt State Gorillas. Uh, Melissa and I are sorry that we can't be in attendance, but today is our home opener uh, in Pittsburgh, and I felt like it would be great if I went to the first game. We would like to congratulate you on the unveiling of the Norm Stewart statue today on Champions Plaza. Uh, I know we join, I join uh, your former players and coaches and staff members. Uh, in thanking you for your contributions uh, to the University of Missouri and Mizzou basketball. And from a personal standpoint, all you've done for us as individuals. Uh, I hope it's a great day in Columbia and best wishes to you in Virginia. Hi folks, it's Bob Costas. I really wish I could be there today for the dedication, but as you see, I'm at the MLB Network, which in a way is appropriate because as many of you know, in addition to his basketball exploits, Norm Stewart was a heck of a pitcher. In fact, Whitey Herzog told me once that he recalled facing Norm in an American Legion game and that he had terrific stuff. And briefly, he was property of the Baltimore Orioles before basketball became his career path. And when I think about the various things that I've done during the course of my career, Right near the top is the many years I spent as the radio voice of the Missouri Tigers. Late 70s, early 80s, that's when Norm, Virginia, and the entire Stewart family became friends for life and so many terrific games. It was one of the great eras of Tiger basketball. Steve Stepanovich, Prince Bridges, Larry Drew, Kim Anderson, John Sunvold, those were terrific teams. And those battles in the old classic Big Eight Allen Fieldhouse and at the Hearn Center, man, I'll never forget it. And you can go on and on, and the inscription on the statue says some of it about all of Norm's accomplishments. But what I'll always remember is Norm's personality. Sometime in the early 80s, there was a walk-on on the team, basically there just so that the team could scrimmage and practice. He was a baseball player named Al Hightower, and he never got to play. He was at the end of the bench. The Antlers called for him in their classy and dignified fashion. The Antlers chanted for Al Hightower almost every game, especially when Mizzou got a big lead, and they thought that maybe Norm might look down to the end of the bench and send Al in to play a couple of minutes. So one night, the Tigers are up at home by 25 against McNeese State or some team or other, and the Antlers are chanting for the last five minutes, we want Al, we want Al. And finally, with about a minute and a half to go, Norm beckons down the bench to Hightower, and he peels off the warm-up, and the Antlers are going nuts, and so too is most of the crowd. And Norm drapes 
an arm around Hightower's shoulder, whispers in his ear. And then Al, instead of heading for the scores table, walks around the baseline and over to the antlers, stands in front of them and says, Norm sent me over here to find out what it is you want. What do you want from me? And then he came back. Everyone got a good laugh out of it. Norm put him in the game. He got fouled. He made one of two. One for two is good in baseball. Not so good at the free throw line, but he got his name in the box score. That, as much as the victories and as much as Norm being synonymous with Missouri basketball, that was Norm Stewart, too. Congratulations, my friend. First, congratulations to your coach, Norm Stewart, on this great, great tribute with the statue. I uh, hope it doesn't have a scowl on it, uh, that face that you make. Uh, an unbelievable, intense competitor uh, who's done so much for not only the city, the university, the state of Missouri, but to me, the whole nation, and especially with the coaches versus cancer. Well, what a great, great tribute to a man who I've had the honor to, to meet and to follow his footsteps at, at Missouri. It was an honor for me to be the coach there. And to see you have a day where uh, a statue is being displayed, uh, no one's more deserving than you. Hey, Coach Stewart. So awesome to spend a couple minutes here with you and congratulate you on this beautiful statue and for everything that you've meant to the University of Missouri, college basketball, and coaches and people across this country. It was an honor of mine when I got to coach a team in front of you, and it's been a greater honor to call you a friend. Much respect to you. What a great day of joy, great day of celebration, one of the great men to impact our people our community, our profession, and Missouri is such an unbelievable way. Much claps to you, love you, and can't wait to see you. Coach Stewart, Virginia, hope you guys are doing well. I'm very proud of you, very happy for you. I think it's great they're gonna have a statue of you outside the arena. You meant more to Missouri basketball than no doubt, meant more than anybody ever has. You did a great job, you were a pain in the tail to coach against. And except for one other thing, I had a tremendous amount of respect for you, and we have been good friends. I uh, hope it's always a great day for you. hope your family's there. I hope you and Virginia really feel good about all the years and all the service you gave to, uh, to the Tigers. Uh, appreciate you as a friend. Appreciate the note I get every now and then. And really enjoyed competing against you and knew that we had to be on top of our game. You're a credit to what you did at Missouri, and congratulations to you, Coach. Look forward to seeing you.